In this video we are going to study instrumental variables with two stage list scores in Python using Spider IDE. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Okay, so let's go into Spider IDE. So the first step within the video is we need to import the corresponding packages. Therefore, we comment this as step one, packages. And we are going to import stats models .api as sm. We're importing that feature from stats models for data downloading. Then we're going to import stats models .formula api as smf we're importing that feature from stats models for multiple linear regression calculation and last we're going to import linear models .ib .model as lm we're importing that feature from linear models for two stage least squares to run these code lines we go ahead select them and then we can either click the run selection button or we can press f9 on the keyboard then we continue with step number two, which is the data. For data, we're going to create an object named house prices underscore object, which is equal to, and here we'll be using SM feature from stats models dot sets dot get underscore our data set. And we open Francis first parameter, which is data name equals to, and within quotations, we have house prices comma at the following row we have package equals to within quotations aer comma cash equals to true and what we're doing here is the following is we're downloading house prices object from our package aer and with cash equals to true means that once we download the data it saves it locally so we don't need to go and download it again every time we run the code notice that this will download data and documentation within house prices object Therefore, we're going to create a new object named house prices with only the data, therefore equals to house prices underscore object, and we're going to get its dot data attribute. To run this code lines, we go ahead, select, and then we're going to press F9 on the keyboard directly. And if we go into the variable explorer, we see that this created the house prices object with only the data and house prices object with data and documentation. So to view the data, we double click on any of the cells with the object with only the data. And right here, we can see the data. In this video, we're going to focus on the following columns. First, at price, which is the dependent or explained variable, which is being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size and bedrooms. And then we have as instrumental variables, driveway and garage. If you want to read the full documentation of this data, you can do so with print and we have house prices underscore object and we're going to get its dot two underscores doc two underscores attribute and as it is a single code line, we press F9 on the keyboard and as we can see right here within the console, this prints the documentation. So if we scroll up, we have house prices R documentation. So now we continue with step number three, which is the model. For this, we're going to create an object named MLR1, which stands for multiple linear regression one, and it is equal to SMF feature from stats model dot OLS function, which is ordinary least squares, and within it the following parameters, which are formula equals to within quotations because it is a string. We have price as the dependent or explained variable. Special character means being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size plus bedrooms. Comma, and at the following row we have data equals to the house prices object that we created above, the one that only has data, and we go ahead and fit this regression open and close parentheses. So to run these code lines, we go ahead, select them, and then we're going to press F9 on the keyboard. And now we continue with step number four, which is instrumental variables. And we're going to continue with two stage least squares.
And for this, we need to create an object named mData, C, which is the model data together with a constant or intercept column, therefore equals to, and here we'll be using sm feature from stats models dot add underscore constant. And within it, we have the following, which is data equals to the house prices object, comma, prepend equals to false, so that this column is added at the end. And then we continue with the following code line in which we have MLR2 object, multiple linear regression 2 equals 2, and here we'll be using LM feature from linear models dot IB to SLS, which stands for instrumental variables to stage least squares function, and within it the following parameters, which are dependent equals to, and from M data C object, we select its price column. At the following row, we have PXOG equals to m data c object with double brackets we select constant and bedrooms comma e n d o g equals to m from m data c object we're going to select lot size comma and then we have instruments equals to m from m data c object we're going to select with double brackets driveway comma garage which is the number of garage places and we go ahead and fit this regression with the following parameters which are cob underscore type that's the covariance estimator type equals to and within quotations homoscedastic and debiased equals to true so that this covariance estimator is adjusted for degrees of freedom. So the way two stage least squares works is as follows. So we have the original regression in which price is the dependent variable, which is being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size and bedrooms. But we're going to make an important distinction between these two, and that is that lot size is the endogenous explanatory variable because it is assumed correlated with MLR1 model error. And then have bedrooms as the exogenous explanatory variable because it is assumed not correlated with MLR1 model error term. And then we have driveway and garage as instrumental variables. These instrumental variables have three requirements. The first is that they do not appear in MLR1 model, which is the case. The second is that they are assumed correlated with lot size endogenous explanatory variable. And the third is that they are assumed not correlated with MLR2 model error term. And the way to stage least squares estimation is done is as follows. So first we have the first stage regression in which lot size endogenous explanatory variable becomes the dependent variable and bedrooms exogenous explanatory variable together with and garage instrumental variables as explanatory variables. And then we have the second stage regression in which we have price as dependent variable and instead of having lot size we have the first stage regression fitted values together with bedrooms exogenous explanatory variable as explanatory variables important observations regarding two stage least squares are the follow following notice that doing two stage least squares manually with ols function would estimate correct coefficients but incorrect standard errors and incorrect f statistics also, notice that in this specific two-stage least squares estimation, we're assuming that MLR2 model errors are homoscedastic or with constant variance. So let's run these code lines by selecting them, and then we're going to press F9 on the keyboard. And now we're going to do a comparison of the coefficients, their t-statistics, p-values, and f-statistics between the original regression and these two stage least squares. So let's begin with coefficient comparison. For this, we do so with print, and from MLR1 object, we get a dot params, comma MLR2 dot params as well. So we press F9 on the keyboard, and right here within the console, we see the coefficients. First, the coefficients for the original regression for intercept lot size and bedrooms, and then the coefficients for two stage least squares with constant bedrooms and lot size. So 
external observations, as we can see, the order of independent or explanatory variables is different between both of these. And for the two-stage least squares, instead of having lot size data from the house prices object, we have the first stage regression fitted values. And when we compare these coefficients, we see that they are different. So now let's compare t-statistics. So we do so with print and from MOR, one object we get it with dot t values and from MOR2 object dot t stats. And as it is a single code line, we go ahead and press F9 on the keyboard. And right here within the console, we see the printing of t-statistics. First, the t-statistics for the original model and below the t-statistics for the two-stage least squares. Remember the different order regarding the independent or explanatory variables. And we see that the t-statistics are different. So now let's do a comparison of p-values. We do so with print mr1.p-values, mlr2.p-values as well. And we're going to press F9 on the keyboard. And right here in the console, we have first the p-values for the original regression, below the p-values for the two-stage least squares. Remember the different order regarding the independent or explanatory variables, and we see that the p-values are different. And last, let's do a comparison of f-statistics. So we do so with print, and from MOR1, we get the f-statistic at dot f value, together with MLR1 dot f underscore p value and print mlr2 dot f underscore statistic so from this code lines we select them and then we press f9 on the keyboard you can see the results being printed right here within the console so first we have the f statistic and associated p value from the original regression and below we have the f statistic and the associated p value from the two stage least squares and when we compare the f statistics we see that they are different as well okay so with this we finish with the code file so we can go ahead and save it and with this we also finish with this video thank you for watching